Hey everyone. I'm doing a sound bath tomorrow with cellist Charles Pruitt. And I'm going to put the speaker phone on here. And you can find out tickets at concertsinthedark.com if you're interested in coming. That's tomorrow. I'm hoping that this is still coming through okay. I consider like, I really enjoy using Facebook as sort of a live diary entry. Something that Rick Rubin said recently about creativity. Every time you sit down to create something, think of it as your diary entry. When you write a diary entry, you're not like worrying about, oh my God, this has to be the best possible thing in the world. You just do the diary entry. You write whatever comes to mind. You write what is uh, um, flowing in that moment. And then maybe you can come back to that diary entry, expand on it, make a piece, write a poem, write a play. So I really like this idea, this practice of thinking about creativity and these little spurts of creativity as diary entries. And the, fa- the, uh, the Facebook, Instagram Live kind of allows me to do that in a way, in the cracks of my day, and share some of my thoughts with you that may impact your life and make your life better. So thanks for tuning in. If you want to see one of my shows, I'll be live tomorrow at a um, sound bath, playing violin with a cellist, concertsinthedark.com. So today I really wanted to share something with you that I think could help you if you're somebody that's been struggling with anxiety, depression, being in a hard place in your life, being at a place where maybe you're feeling stuck or you're feeling a lot of negative emotions, um, like I have been feeling over the last two and a half, three years, honestly, struggling with that in and out and how to learn how to create sort of islands of relief or an island of serenity from that how do you, how can you do that when you feel so consumed by the fight or flight or the negative situation that, that you don't, that you feel powerless to in your life what are some ways that you can get out of that and I've learned some things doing one a program called the Linden method you can look that up I highly recommend it it could be life-saving for for you as it has been for me Charles Linden is in uh, in London. So some of what I'm going to share with you is uh, I found to be true my life works amazingly well and I think probably a lot of cultures and indigenous people have known this for a long time. But I'm going to start with something I heard Bob Schneider say. He was talking about how sometimes a long time. They don't necessarily write their most inspiring work in the middle or end of their careers. And he said something like this, the song has to save you. When you're starting out and you're trying to make a mark or you're trying to survive on the income from a song or be able to make a living as a songwriter or a painter or artist, some of us believe that the music or, or the garth that we're creating has to be so good that it's it's that we're going to be able to survive off of that off of that music or that art. At least I I used to believe that, and I, part of me still does believe that. But in the beginning, I remember thinking like I'm going all in on this music. I'm going all in on this piece of music I'm writing, you know, to the depths of my soul. And I would go into this process, into this process that brought me into a place that you might call flow, where the world melted away and hours would fly by without any, any notice. No, I wouldn't notice hours flying by. <clears throat> and I would come out of this state of mind with a new work of art or, or some progress on a work of art and have no sense of it in a way that I was struggling, but that it was kind of sucked into this vortex of of beauty and, and peace and uh, just feeling really connected to the world and myself. So with that in mind, can the song save you? 
Um, I've been looking for things that can get me out of this kind of uh, loop, feedback loop. And one of the things that I've really found, and like I say, I want to I want to preface this by saying, maybe it doesn't work all the time, but give it enough time and attention, it seems to work a lot or most of the time. And that is, for me, granted, it may be something different for you, but for me, the creative process, writing a song, writing a piece of music, fully going all in on the creative process and surrendering to the curiosity into me, finding that curiosity. And how do I find that curiosity? I look at other pieces of music, other composers. I'm inspired. I ask questions like, what makes this piece of music great to me? What's inspiring about it? I take the piece of music apart. I look at the at um, the lines, the melodies, the harmonies, the rhythms, the structure of the piece. I ask questions over and over and over and over again. What is, to me, amazing about this piece of music? I look at the score. And then I think, well, how could I do that and write my own music? Having learned something from, say, Stravinsky or Lyle Mays, it opens a door. I walk through that door of possibility, of of anything being uh, a musical content or, or um, material that I can work with. I roll up my sleeves, as Lyle Mays might say, and I'm kind of doing that right now, making this video. I'm very much in the present moment. Roll up my sleeves, <clears throat> dive in with a complete openness as if I'm writing a diary entry and write a new piece of music with no attachment to how good it's going to be. But more like, well, let's see what I can create. Let's see what happens when I do this. Let's see what happens when I do that. It, it, this reminds me of, of how um, Steve Barton, he has a master class, some master class, talks about anything can be material. And people that do uh, comedy improv, the, the idea is yes and. You don't say no to anything that might come up. That's what we do when we sit down, or I do when I sit down to write music. So what I've noticed is when I get myself in this flow, in this kind of state of mind, it brings me to a place of serenity, a place of peace, and any of those things that may be happening that I don't have any control over in my life, you know, the people that are having trouble, the people that are sick, the wars, the politics, it fades away and my mind is not fixating on that but my mind is fixating on something I do have some control over, which is being in this creative zone of creation, of being open to experimentation and trying things out and seeing what what might come if I do this and if I do this. And the other day I practiced this and I was at, I was waiting for three hours to be seen to get uh, a, uh, what do you call it? A title updated and I just found myself in this beautiful creative zone for three hours waiting at the title office and wrote a whole new piece of music and during the whole time I was just saying let's just try this it wasn't like I'm going to try to create a great piece of music no anyway I wanted to share that with you so for you that might not be music what takes you into that zone of creativity possibility where you say yes and where you can experiment? That's the question you need to ask yourself. What is that activity for you? Maybe it's uh, playing tennis. Maybe it's martial arts. You know, uh, maybe it's doing comedy improv. Somebody in my Al-Anon group mentioned comedy improv and how healing that was for her. So I find that you know, if I just commit to five or ten minutes that that usually is enough to get me going. I can't recommend this enough, and I wanted to share with you. And that made me think back to the thing that, that um, Bob Schneider said was... What? All right, I'm back. You know, I was going to say music has so many different entryways and entry points. It's not just about playing music or listening to music, but it could be reading about the composer, reading about the history around 
when a piece of music was written. I mean, it's just so many different entry points. Just like paintings, same deal. Or any other kind of art. Well, if you enjoyed this and this made a difference and you tried what I was suggesting, which is finding some kind of activity that you feel passionate about and committing to that, 